We must never think that because a death is shockingly unexpected, it is therefore unacceptable. Again, we must never think that because a death is shockingly unexpected, it is therefore unaccepted. Uh, accept a warning here. May I give it to you? Take away the word premature. Stop linking it with death. No one dies prematurely. If we are going to look at life as God has planned life, we must look at death as God has planned death. Otherwise, God is not quite sovereign, just almost, which is heresy. Let me verify this by having you remember, if you choose not to turn, I'll read it for you. Listen to the words of Psalm 139, 16. Understand the context. David writes the psalm. When he gets to verse 13 in the psalm and down through verse 17, he enters into the most secret and sacred and sensitive of all places, the womb of the mother. And he looks at his own embryo and fetus, and ours as well. And he writes this, referring to God, Your eyes have seen my unformed substance. In the womb we are still being formed, so still while being formed your eyes see me and see all who have not yet been born. You have seen my unformed substance, and in your book were all written the days that were ordained for me. Our days are ordained for us. You hear that and you think, well, I don't like that. Well, I don't care doesn't matter what you like or what I like. He says it and it's true. You believe the day of your birth was marked out by God for a reason and a purpose? You better believe it. So it is with the day of your death. Not one second before, not one second late. It's in the book ordained for you. This will help you when that time comes and you lose one that means so much to you. And they're younger than you. Maybe even your own child. Or your beloved parent whom you've loved all your life. When it's time, it's time. And Jesus is saying to Peter, that's my time. I must go to the cross. Our lives are in God's hands. This is a good time to emphasize this. I will say what I've said before from this pulpit so many times. He is the master, we are the servant. He is the potter, we are the clay. Just don't get those confused. He is the leader. We are the follower. He is God. We are not. Accept that. Embrace that. Teach that. Remember that at those moments when you cannot explain why to yourself or anyone else, understand our times are in His hands. His times are not in our hands.